Today is the last day of week seven. Now you'll notice there's a different backdrop here today. We're in another Axiom Fitness. Now when I lived here in Boise originally, this estate didn't even exist and now it's absolutely huge. Uh, but we're over here, we've snuck our way in and I wanted to do a little bit of functional work today. I thought after the workout, I'd like to do a bit of functional work as my cardio. So if you do have any availability to some battle ropes, to some kettlebells, to a sled or something like that, then by all means, you know, take advantage of that. If not, you can hit the treadmill, you can hit the sidewalk, you can hit the Stairmaster, whatever it may be. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna do today, uh, dependent on what I've got left in the tank after back. So we have upper and outer back to hit. And what we are trying to accomplish is getting that V taper. So I really wanna target the lats and the thickness of the lats and the detail within the traps there as well. And of course, we're gonna finish off with carbs. Let's get into today's back workout and get this did. And I need to finish off my pre-cage. I'm light on this. Okay, first back superset, two exercises complete. So that sequence for me today was starting off with a lat pull down, different machine that I'm used to using. Nevertheless, use a lat pull down. And I did 20 reps here before going onto the row machine there and doing 20 reps. Now you'll notice that I wasn't doing a full row. There's a lot of tension on that machine at the bottom portion anyway. So I'm just squeezing my traps because that is the action of the back anyway, that's the arms. That is the action of the back. So I did 20 reps here, rested for 40 seconds, and then did 15, went slightly heavier to reach failure at 15. And then after 30 seconds, did 10. And then I came back down in a reverse roll, started off with, uh, with the rows for 10 reps, then came over here for 10. After 20 second rest, 15, 15. After 30 second rest, finished off with 20 reps on each. And now we are gonna find uh, the following exercises uh, to perform. Back is done, baby. Man, that was tough. We started off this time with a good compound movement, bent over row, overhand grip, and making sure that I had my elbows flared out just slightly, really target the traps. So I was probably at like a 45 degree angle, maybe a little lower. So once I'd done the 20 reps here, I went over to lap pull down, neutral grip, and uh, making sure that I kept my elbows tight here to really target the, the thickness of the lat. You'll notice I was leaning forward to get a good stretch and then coming back, sticking the chest out to really fire the lats. If your back is concave, your back can't fire. So once we did 20 there, increased the weight slightly, I went uh, 15 and then increased again for the 10 repetitions. Again, replicating the rest period after the reps that we've got. 
So then once we finished with that, at the halfway point, I varied things. So this time I did a reverse grip row. And then uh, we went onto the lat pull down. This time I had a wide grip to really target the outer portion of the lats. So then we started at 10 repetitions. And then after the 20 second rest, 15, after uh, the 30 second rest, finished with 20. So now we've got carbs. So uh, let's hit some gastrocnemius. Today's workout, the end of week seven, is done, complete. Not for the weekend, but I mean the workout week. So uh, finished off here now with calves. Did the 20 repetitions nice and slow and controlled, especially on the negative, because I didn't want the Achilles tendon to take over. And really work the contraction, get onto the balls of your feet. Did 20 repetitions here, rest for 20 seconds, calves recover pretty quick. Went a little bit heavier for 15 and then finished off with 10. And then after less than a minute's rest, I came onto the uh, standing calf that I'd set up with a Reebok step here and a Smith machine and did 10 repetitions. After 10 seconds rest only, went to 15 and then finished off with 20. Remember, you've got your 15 minutes cardio, you've got to do your twists every day. I do suggest still, after your cardio, you stretch for a good 10 minutes every day. I do, I've got to stay nimble. And uh, tomorrow, my cardio in the morning is going to be a 5K run for charity. So hopefully you guys can come along and join me and see a bit of fun. But remember, stay focused. The weekends is where everything can go wrong, but you're not going to let that happen. Let's do some functional workouts. Okay, that's it done, kids. We are finished for today's cardio session. Y'all go home and have your re-caged. And y'all come back tomorrow, you hear?